So we want to import a track now. Right now I'm in full screen mode. I click on this button here, which you can see, and I disable full screen mode. So my finder is revealed, or my explorer. Um, I have my folder called uh, 1501. That would be my January tracks. So let's say I have these, these two tracks in here and I want to import them into my new playlist. So I just select them. I drag them into the playlist. And the next thing, Tractor will ask me if uh, I want to analyze my tracks. And yes, I want Tractor to analyze my tracks because this way uh, my grid will be automatically set, my BPM will be automatically calculated. And that's what I need in the first place in order to work with the track. This takes a few seconds, as you can see, there's a progress bar here at the bottom. So now I have these two tracks in my uh, playlist called New. Uh, whenever I switch to another playlist, I can always go back to that playlist and I will see the tracks that I imported here. The columns here on the top can be customized by right-clicking. I can select which column I want to be visible and which not. Um, my playlists are always organized in a way that I have the number, the import number here, the BPM, the key, comment, cover art, title, and so forth. So what's next? Let's say we want to play this track. There's two ways to load this track into deck A, which I want to do. I switch back to full screen mode. So I can either just grab it and drag it into deck A. I can push a button on my keyboard board, or I can, what is the most convenient way, to press the deck A button on my controller. I press deck A, and here it is. What I can see now is the waveform representation. I can see these white lines here, which represent my beat grid. And in 99% of the time with electronic music, this beat grid will be correctly set. So every white line represents a new beat. When I press play, I can hear that. <laughs> 